Hello, uh, my name is Jorge Barrero, and I'm going to be taking you through some of the basics of V-Ray for SketchUp. Uh, if this is the first time you've used uh, V-Ray, um, and I will give you a small overview of some of the settings that I typically use, but also I want to go over how V-Ray for SketchUp is integrated into uh, SketchUp itself. So what I have is a fairly simple scene here. I just have one object. Um, one of the things that uh, after you install V-Ray for SketchUp, you will notice the toolbar. It uh, looks pretty much like this. Uh, you have your materials, uh, render options, frame buffer, uh, the render button, uh, the uh, HGVIS website, Omni lights, rectangular lights, uh, highly tessellated um, sphere for testing, and an uh, infinite plane. Um, so right out of the box, uh, what I'm going to do is I just have a simple object here. I'm going to hit render to see what we get and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the uh, default rendering and as you can see there's a couple things we can we can note. Uh, there's a general lighting in our object. It uh, looks like uh, some sort of sunlight on it. Uh, however there's no ground floor and there's also no background. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to start at the render options and change a few things to kind of show you how Vray for SketchUp works uh, with uh, with SketchUp here. So I'm going to close this, and I'll be making my render uh, window a little bit bigger too, so we can see uh, the renderings a little bit better. I'm going to open up the render options, and there's several tabs. Uh, one of the first ones I'll go to is the global switches here. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the default lights. Uh, that way, only the, the general lighting that I pick is going to be rendered. Also, if and when I put lights on their layers, uh, I'm going to uncheck hidden lights. That way, if I turn them off, they will also won't render uh, when I don't want them to. So I'm going to close that. Um, one of the things that uh, the black background and sort of the general lighting in SketchUp is driven under the environment tab. You can see right now GI Skylight is turned on by default, however um, the intensity is only at half and you can see the small M to the right uh, indicating there's no general overriding map or setting for that GI Skylight so the general lighting for this is completely white based on this color. One of the things that's very useful within V-Ray for SketchUp is the addition of the V-Ray physical sky and physical camera. Viri for SketchUp uses the shadow information from SketchUp itself to determine the position of the sun by default. Uh, and for that, it's actually pretty useful to use the V-Ray physical sun as the main light source. So um, in particular for architectural visualization, um, I find it relatively easy to use. So that's one of the things I'm going to set up here. Um, I'm going to change my intensity to 1. But most importantly, I'm going to click on the small M here to the right, and I'm going to get the V-Ray Texture Editor. Here under Type, is uh, None is selected as the map, and I'm actually going to select Sky there. I'm going to leave the defaults as they are for now. We can come back to those in a little bit uh, later on. Um, so now, my GI Skylight is going to be the physical sky. My background. Uh, I'm going to have to change that because if I render right now, and I'll hit render really quick so you can see the results, uh, the lighting, see now the lighting changed, my chair is completely overexposed, but that's okay and that's expected because now I'm using the physical sky as the lighting, but my background is still black, so I need to change that. So I'm going to click on the small m on the background, and I'm going to select the physical sky as well, hit apply. Um, I will render this again, and now the entire scene is completely overexposed. If I switch to my alpha channel, you can see my chair is still there. Uh, it just can't be seen right now, so that is working fine. Uh, the other things that I can run through quickly here will have to be the camera itself. Uh, because we are using the physical sky um, and sun, I'm going to have to turn on my physical camera, which then will let me correctly set the exposure for my rendering. Uh, I'm going to switch my phone speed to 100 
uh, my shutter speed uh, I will leave at 300 for now I'm gonna change under my output size uh, just a slightly larger image I'll go to 640 by 480 I can close this last but not least uh, because I have no ground I'm actually going to add an in, uh, V-Ray infinite plane just a small one here so that I can uh, render my entire scene uh, as a base uh, and just out of habit I'm going to reverse this uh, base there we go so now I'm going to zoom in a little hit render and we can see the results uh, pretty quickly here so right off the bat we can tell we have a sky background that we set up uh, with our very physical sky we have an infinite plane that we set up for our ground and our chair uh, it's nicely lit by the uh, physical sun and physical sky the shadow information uh, or essentially the sun location is coming directly from SketchUp's own um, shadow settings here so you can see if I pan this over and I will do another rendering this is a quick test here you'll be able to compare the shadow locations of both um, and you can see how the V-Ray Physical Sun can be controlled using the SketchUp shadow slider and shadow position you can if I slide that over you can see the shadows are identical and now when I move the shadow locations here essentially the sun position here in, in SketchUp and I re-render we'll notice the location also changed automatically here so that is one of the things that is important to note that even though we can override this by default this is set to be the case for the physical sun um, and we can get a good quick uh, setup for some exterior renderings uh, be ready for SketchUp